All right, ladies and gentlemen, so in this video, we're going to be painting this engine. I've already cleaned it. I don't know if that's going to be a separate video or the same video, but anyways, I've already got it cleaned. So, uh, one thing I forgot to do is I need to put a spark plug or some sort of a plug in that uh, head right there in the middle of the big round head uh, to keep the paint from getting in the center there. So I found this dirty uh, spark plug on the floor. I think I'm going to clean it up really quick and install that in there uh, instead of using tape or whatever. I don't know. Hi. So that spark plug is too long for uh, for that engine head, but that's okay. It's plugged in the hole, so hopefully that's all we need to do. We got our Rust-Oleum engine primer that I got off Amazon should be in the link in the description of the video up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit If this engine gets that hot something's probably wrong. Okay, it uh, It gets to where you can put on another coat in like 10 20 minutes here 20 minutes And then you're supposed to be able to handle it in an hour and supply your second coat and all that good stuff We got the primer shake that up. I'm not putting on a paint shaker because well, I'm afraid something bad might happen because it looks like there's stuff around the paint shaker that might fall or something and I don't want to deal with that. So I'm just going to shake these up by hand and then we're going to paint them on there. Okay, so got everything taped off and uh, I trip on anything here. And then we got um, everything's pretty much ready to go. So let's just start out. Alright, so now that the primer has had over 20 minutes, like maybe 20, actually 30 minutes to set up for the next coat for the paint, um, you can see now it's actually a different color. Before it was glossy and it was bright, and now it's a much darker color. So let's shake up our paint again since the paint shaker is occupied at the moment. And, uh, I mean, I just shook this up not too long ago, but we'll do it again just just for the sake of it because I don't like spending extra money and I want this to get done. So, all right. So, I mean, it does look glossy in places, so that's, that's good. All right. So, let's get started here. All right, so that needs to set overnight, and then hopefully tomorrow we can flip it over and do it again. All right. All right, so we've given this at least, I don't know, 12 hours to cure, and so what I want to do now is flip everything over, prime it, and paint it again. And uh, the head, I have to say, is looking very good. Um, look at that. I mean, that's just beautiful, I think, as far as the top now. I got a paint primer and stuff down the sides and paint black paint down the sides on the bottom. I'm going to mask this bottom part off in here. Um, but anyways, we want to start, probably should put some gloves on so I don't contaminate everything, but we want to start by flipping everything over and then priming painting again. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Now here you can see the paint didn't stick so well. There was uh, some sort of contamination there or it wasn't sanded smooth enough or something. That's where our sticker's going to go anyway, so, you know, the main point of this was make the engine not stand out so much and so that uh, the heat from the engine would come off better because black things radiate heat better. So, the other uh, good thing is if, if this whole thing's sitting in the sun 
and it gets hot in the sun because it's black, it'll actually start better, um, you know, because it'll be warm. So, anyways, here we go. So around the edges here, there's a lot of places where there's no paint. And so I was going to tape this off and just prime the bottom part. But because of the way this is, I think what I'm going to do is hold it like this and just prime around the edge and uh, on the bottom as well. And then we'll do everything else. So... Okay, so this time because we already got most of the engine, uh, most of the, the sides and everything and nooks and crannies, when I flipped it over, I don't think it's necessary to cover it quite as much with the primer. I mean, I'm not talking about less thickness, but as far as the angles and stuff, because really uh, we've already covered, like I said, most of it from the other side. So the most important part is going to be putting on the black paint uh, to make sure we cover everything with that. And so in 20 minutes we'll come back and hopefully we can paint this and it'll be finished um, tomorrow and then we can take it home and uh, mess with it from there all right so just as before we see that the primer turns dull and kind of shiny uh, once it's it's had like 10 or 20 minutes over 20 minutes to cure so it's not cured yet but we can put our next coat on so that's what we're going to try to do next here Okay, so I don't know if it's going to be perfect, but I've tried to paint everything from every angle. Um, I'm almost certain that I'm going to see later on that I need to touch stuff up. Like I did just there. But I think we've accomplished our goal, hopefully, and we'll see tomorrow when this paint dries uh, how far we've come along. So, all right. All right, so here's how everything turned out. Now, the engine head here didn't turn out as well as I had hoped um, because I tried to touch it up when I was going around the edges trying to get everything in there. And uh, anyways, this end had to be touching the floor because I had a spark plug up in the middle you know, and I had to lay it that way so I could paint it. So that came off. That's okay. I can touch that up. Not the end of the world. Probably always might see a perfection, but that's that's okay. All right. Um, then it feels like it's still curing, even though it's been like 20 hours. Um, here's the engine, okay, with the exhaust and everything. I mean, it was painted when it came from the factory, but... Now everything is, I think, shinier and glossier than it was when it came from the factory, uh, which is a nice touch, nice added bonus. Um, I'm hoping that, uh oh, that's going to have to be repainted too. But um, I'm hoping that uh, um, nothing's going to want to stick to this, like dirt and stuff, because now it's a smoother surface. Um, this is where the paint wasn't sticking, but when it cured, it fixed itself. So, and I don't know what the deal was there. I sanded that, I cleaned it, I, I don't know. Um, but anyways, got to touch this up and touch the head up and that's it. 
So these are all these other pieces, like mounting pieces and stuff, and uh, it just seems like this paint doesn't doesn't set up quite as quick as it says. And uh, this spring is gonna look good. Look at that. You don't even see like silver inside it. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, and we got all these parts, the spring. Uh, I learned adjust thing tensioner spring ten, chain tensioner. We got mounting pieces here, mounting brackets. So all in all, I think this turned out pretty good. Now I don't know how it did underneath where the yeah it's looking good. I mean I don't know everything's not perfect. There's another little spot up here where the paint came off while it was drying because of that side was the side sitting down, and this looks like it needs a little more paint there but I have more paint and I have a place to paint so as long as I can sit this on something I'll leave some paper towels or something and then take it down and and touch it up I think we'll be fine alright alright so here's what the engine looks like after being painted black couple imperfections but it looks pretty good here's the other side down in here, got uh, the motor mounts black. Everything's black except the uh, um, studs coming out of the motor mount. Because, well, and they're screwed up anyway. I couldn't remove them because they're like stripped out or something. Um, I mean, they're in there, but they won't come out. So, uh, I guess that's the best way to describe it. So, anyways, here's a, a side there. Sorry if the light isn't that great. Um, I get to refocus here. Uh, but there it is. The exhaust pipe is nice and shiny. I mean, I guess I could try to turn the bike around and show you from another quick little perspective. And I got the uh, the carburetor there. I didn't paint the carburetor. Thought about it. Maybe I will in the future. But anyway, I also didn't paint the uh, rear tensioner there. I did do the spring tensioner, and I think it looks pretty good. Of course, I didn't do the bolt or the sprocket because, you know, they're moving parts and... Uh, but anyways, anything that I could paint, I painted. I repainted the um, the muffler and everything there, the exhaust. So I think it turned out pretty good. I've had other people look at it. They think it turned out pretty good. And uh, I painted the other head. Now, I will admit I had a problem, and that was that the engine fell over, and so did um, some other parts I was painting. And uh, so, like, it fell onto them, so... Had to touch up a little bit, but um, other than that, I'm thinking it's looking pretty decent. So next step is to install a 40 millimeter reed valve thing to the part two part of that video, so you guys can see how that's done. That video will probably come out before this one. Um, so all right, all right. Here's that other side again, just uh, with more light on it, so you guys can see it really quick, like I was talking about. All right.